Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Herf's Quasar, and you're watching a little bit of Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. We're doing movie cars, and I'm actually looking for um, additional movie cars. So, um, that's nothing, that's nothing. And, oh, we have the Ecto. This, 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 this will work. This wasn't part of you probably part of my plan to do already or so soon um oh 126,000 miles you know what i'll take it it's got the same engine as the pacer but uh hey let's send that puppy to the garage i think we found our new car let's go get it all right, she looks looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. Let's uh, throw her over on the first lift. Um, as you can tell, I still got uh, the waning Garth mobile here. I did find the license plate number for the Garth mobile here, or the Garth mobile, or whatever it was called. Um, so the F3B259 Illinois plates, I was able to find it, and uh, I appreciate anyone um, that's posted in the comments for the last video of trying to find it. I did happen to find it, by the way. So, what we have here is Ecto-1. This is from the Ghostbusters. Um, uh, not sure if it's the same year as the one Ghostbusters movie that just, was just put out. But this is from, um, the one with Dan Aykroyd and, uh... Oh, Bill Murray, right? These are the guys. These are the guys we're talking about. I am still... I am still... Oof, there we go. I am still working out a cold here, so I apologize for everything. I think I've pretty hurt myself here a little bit. All right, this seems like, oh, this looks like it's in horrible shape. Horrible, horrible shape. So Ghostbusters, we got the slime monster in there. Uh, Bill Murray. Uh, let's see, who was uh, Sigourney Weaver? Sigourney Weaver, you know, remember her? She's from Alien, the very first Alien movie, Sigourney Weaver. Um, so she's in this movie as well as being one of the women that were possessed. Um, yeah, so, now, a few guys putting together a supernatural business, trying to rid New York City of all the ghosts, um, actually quite, quite the funny movie, um, the original Ghostbusters was pretty awesome, and while I was in Pittsburgh, or outside of Pittsburgh, I should say, um, there is a, uh, there is a building or a, um, what is it? There is a, I, I don't, remember, don't remember the building, but it's got, uh, it's got the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man on the top of it. And it's got tentacles coming out of the windows of this building. It looks really cool for, uh, for Halloween. It's, it's, it's it's pretty awesome actually. Let me turn this myself down in the head a little bit because I was getting a little I was getting a little loud. All right, I don't think there's going to be a whole lot to this that I can salvage. Wow. Um. My workbench go. We'll give it a shot though. Ugh. I'd be surprised. All right, yeah, not a whole lot left. Not a whole lot. So the Ecto One. This is a mod by uh, Dead Bob Triple Seven. Um, he's got three different versions of this type in his uh, mod pack. So he's got a typical Hearst, um, he's got a, a street rod version, and then he has this version here. 
So, definitely something to check out. Yeah, look at this. Not a whole lot is repairable. Okay. So, I'm going to stick with the same wheels and tires. So, we're going to talk in 16 inch or 15 inch. 15s. 215. 90s. Yikes. Um, okay, 215. Um, let's just go with this. I would love to put a, a, a cool set of rims on this, but, you know, for the most part, these rims are probably going to be the ones that we're going to go with. And you know what? I think, I think we're going to go all four. And you know what? I think if I paint the rim, um, I'll just leave it alone. I won't even go there. Um, geez, I want, I want side, I want these, I think. Um, two, fifteen, two fifteen, right? It was two fifteen, and it was a ninety profile on the back, anyway. Oof, that is a large profile. Let's see how that looks. Uh, That looks absolutely horrible. Looks ridiculous. Um, so, yeah, I'm not liking that at all. Okay, so looks like a C. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go get the C ones here. Maybe it's the C tire. Wow. Because those look that that looked awful. That really looked awful. Um, not liking that at all. Let's see if these are. Let's see if these are any better. Nope, nope, nope. I want. Um, see what? Well, let's see if that's any better. Yeah, that's better. I got a little bit of black down here, man. Yeah, that's uh, that's a little bit better. Nope. Uh, let's see, there we go. Fifteen ninety. Man, it looks like some big. Big old tires. All right. Well, we will. <laughs> That's what came off it. That's what we're gonna put back on it. All right. So let's get some suspension parts, shall we? Let's get this thing busy. Let's get going on this. Cause holy cow, we are wasting some valuable time here. Uh, ba 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 ba. I think we need four small rubber bushings at least where's all my stuff at here that's a coil <laughs> what am I looking for why is it this seems like I can't find what I'm looking for here suspension parts right right there we go we need Need a couple leaf springs. Let me get myself strapped in here. Leaf spring, uh, a plate. Need a hole. Uh, I think we need the bees here. Shock absorbers, um, and then we'll figure out the rest here. Oh, where am I going? All right. Um, suspension. Got both those, got those, need to get uh, uh, these, small rubber bushing, both those are good, all that's good. I need a, need a housing B and a U-bolt, that works. So, housing B and a U-bolt, sweet, 
uh, engine. Get ourselves a fuel tank here. And this puppy needs this puppy needs some boost. This needs some power, people. Because you know you can't uh, can't chase ghosts without some power. Uh, got the wheel, got the tire. I believe I have everything to just go to town here. So, how many of you have seen the Ghostbusters? How many do you like the Ghostbusters? Um, and, you know, Bill Murray being in this movie. Bill Murray has always been one of my favorite actors. I mean, he's been in several movies that I've watched, like uh, Groundhog, Groundhog Day, um, Caddyshack. Oh jeez, I, I can't think of all the movies that I've seen with him in. Um, just one of my favorite actors. Just really is. And this was this movie's no exception. It's just just quite hilarious that uh, you know they get attacked by the Stay Puff Marshmallow Man. Quite humorous. Alright, so you see it has a little bit of gray in it. I could probably... Now, I think I'm going to leave it the way it is. I'm, I was going to paint the rims. And because you paint the rims on there, I think the chrome stays. And if that's the case, you could probably paint it up and have like a... Small... Uh, like paint, the, paint it red and have it like, like a nice red stripe around there. But... Uh, I'm going to leave it alone. I'll leave it the way it is. I think I'm just going to go with it. Alright. Yeah. I'm trying to think of the other guy's name that was in this movie. I'll have to look it up. Um, Um, he played opposite of Sigourney Weaver. He was like, you know, the, the, the two gods. Like, Sigourney Weaver was like the one female god, and he was like the other male god or something. Something to that nature. And it has been quite some time since I've, uh, since I've seen the movie. Um, yeah, he's got the big old white tires on here. I think I like these a lot better. I'm gonna stick with those. So we are, we are golden. Sorry, Dead Bob. Got to go with a different type of wheel on here. So I'm hoping you guys are liking this series. I'm hoping that uh, you'll throw a like my way and hit the subscribe button down below. We are trying to get through as many of the. Uh, movie cars as we can and just happened to come across this one which you know for the most part I was kind of surprised at the miles on it it was very low so hey you know why not do this one next I am in search of a few others and I cannot find so um, that's why I was in the junkyard in the first place figured I'd just start recording and see what we could come up with and lo and behold, we got this one. This is not. This is. This one was actually a surprise, to be honest. This was actually a surprise. So if I don't, if I remember right, was there a Ghostbusters two with Bill Murray in it, or am I just thinking crazy? So. I am just wondering. How would you like to have a job like this? Just to go around and screw with the undead or with the dead, the spirits. Oh, man. Get 
No, I'm getting along there. Get along there, doggy. Okay, I think I've got that pretty much taken care of. Uh, take a look at the size of the front wheels. I wonder if it's the same as the front, or as same as the rear. It could be. Um, yep, same as that. So we are going to go ahead and pull up another set of tires. Right? We'll get another set of these tires because uh, I did not realize they were going to be the same. Otherwise, I would have just done all four at the same time. All right. Go ahead and mount these puppies up. And take a look at our brake situation here. Ooh, we're in bad shape here. So we are going to need some serious parts on this front end. Need one of you, one of you, a couple of you, and a couple of you. We're going to need some, definitely going to need some shocks. So I might as well get those built. Um, while I'm in here, go ahead and get some of these parts that I know I'm going to need. These are always, always the standard. Always the standard. Um, B-links, bearings, wheel hubs. Um, and then there might be other pieces on here that we may have to fix up here. So while we're over here, we'll fix up all these, uh, we'll get these uh, shocks taken care of. Oh. Let's dip into our inventory and dump out the stuff we don't need here. Sell it for a little bit of profit so we can get something going here. So you can see there's other parts I'm going to need here. Um, oh, I did not get the... I usually get the bushings while I'm out too. But uh, I kind of failed to do that. We repaired the steering rack, which is a good thing. Um, so we need a knuckle C, a front sway bar B. Hmm. Go ahead and pick up this tire. Okay, so we need a bottom suspension arm, front knuckle cover. Um, that was a knuckle C, sway bar B. Let me grab this. Yeah, I still have a slight bit of a cold going on. So, you hear me bowing out off the mic a little bit. It's because I'm going, I don't want to cough in your ear. Um, there we go. Yep, yep, yep. And the bushings. Oh my gosh. Um, you know, bushings are typically, I, I remember all the bushings. All right. We got that, and let's just dump out all the bad ones. Alright. Now we can do something. Just putting together parts right and left here. Because we are on a mission. We are in a mission to get this thing back on the road so they can get some ghosts. So, so far of the series, what's been your favorite movie or your favorite build? I'm really curious as to what your, what your thoughts are. 
what your favorite build is. I'd love to know. Um, yeah, it is the season around the holidays right now to, to see movies. And there's not a whole lot of movies out there that, you know, right now that I want to see anyway. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There we go. All right, and tire. Yeah, I'm liking the C. Yeah, I'm liking those on there a lot better than those others. Hoping you guys agree, but uh, uh, let me know in the comments below if you like the, the big old thicker white walls or these. All I can think of while I'm putting this car together is the whole Ghostbuster theme. I ain't afraid of no ghost. That's all I can think of in my head while I'm putting this together. It's quite funny. So, what was this the slime ghost name? Just Slimer? It was his name was just Slimer, right? The one was eating stuff all the time. He was always a hungry ghost or a hungry spirit. Yeah, he was kind of gross looking. There we go. We get everything. Everything seems like it's coming together really good here. Um, I got all the bushings. Yep. All right. So let's dump off all the parts I don't need. Excuse me. Um, oh, wait a minute. I need to take that transmission out because we are going to do the engine next. We are not going to do the body. Um, I really want to get this engine taken care of first. So we are going to drop this down. Let's get the crane over here, engine lift, go ahead and take that out, and we'll do our thing here, we'll go ahead and take this out, radiator A out, radiator C out, um, brake servo, is that all we need, I think so, okay, does any of this get repaired? Hey, what do you know? All that got repaired. Uh, that saved me a little bit of coin. I'll swap out the battery. I'm happy about that. So this puppy has two radiators. Didn't notice that before. I don't know why I didn't notice that before. All right, so our engine that we have here, we're just going to dump this car. This is a single carb, and we're going to give her a, a nice uh, gearbox, too. I'm just going to dump all that out. Um, so this is a single carb, and I don't think you can... Um, does this have any... Ooh, I could put a two carb. Two carb supercharged. Oh, oh, yeah. No, I was hoping to put the, the two carb overhead valve one in. Um, I'm not going to put the supercharged one in, so we are just going to opt for the standard. Um, see, that's the one I was hoping I could put in it, but we'll go with the. This is the one we have, so this is the one we'll go after. And that is fine with me. I am all about doing whatever it takes to get this bad boy back on the road now as you saw in the last video we did a pretty good job being able to uh, get all the parts and I think we did get all the parts uh, we were able to put it together pretty quickly I believe um, so I was pretty happy about that 
I believe we can, like I said in the last, last video, I put so many of these engines together, I should be able to just do this um, in my sleep, to uh, be quite honest with you. But there's always those times that, um, that you miss something. You will always miss something. I try not to, but I do. Um, so for the intake here, it um, doesn't have that one in the speed shop, so we're going to have to go with that one. Oil filter, oil pan, rings. don't need nine. This is it not a nine cylinder? Um, not that, but the rocker arms. Yep, we need rock arms, rod caps. That, that. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Serpentine belt, a overhead valve. Um, overhead valve there, there, there. Pick us up a starter. Timing chain, timing chain cover, push rods, uh, water pump, water pump pulley, and that's it for that. And then we're just going to jump over to the power boost shop. Um, Yeah, I forgot to get uh, the throwout bearing over there. That's all right. We'll go back and get it. Um, a single four-barrel carb. Um, two heads. Um, headers, 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 headers. Got those. Got the filter. We need distributor coil, distributor cap, rotor. And wires, <laughs> pistons. Man, why are you always getting nine of these bad boys? Power steering pump, filter, and I'm believing that is it, except for the throwout bearing. So let's get this let's get this show on the road, shall we? We'll just start building this puppy up from the ground. Do this as quickly as we can so we can get this bad boy on the road. Because we ain't afraid of no ghost, right? You know, speaking of ghosts, it's it's uh, about midway through October. Where is my where's my pumpkin that's all usually over there? I guess it's appropriate that we're doing this in October, right? Because uh, you know, ghosts and goblins and such. But where where is where's my pumpkin? Come on, Red Dot, decorate us up. I love the fact that uh, I love the fact that that garage got decorated. I really do. And for those who don't know, um, for Halloween and for uh, Christmas, uh, Red Dot does decorate the does decorate the garage. And what I'm waiting on is the silly. Uh, pumpkin which probably won't be until probably Halloween Halloween itself maybe I don't know I didn't really want to put the head on right away but that's okay we'll we'll, we'll do that get everything on back here now I've got to put stuff on underneath
All right, well, we'll um, put the headers on here, then we'll flip it over and get the bottom bottom end taken care of. Get everything in there. That kind of kind of messed up a little bit. Did you see that? Kind of jerky a little bit. Get all these puppies in there. Get the oil pan on. We'll flip it back over and we will finish off this engine. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed we don't have the pumpkins in yet. I figured, you know, it would be nice to have them for the full month of October. That would be that would be cool. That would have been that would have been great. Would have been neat. Don't know what the holdup is. No, they're still working on a few things for the console versions, probably because the Rim DLC, the console version doesn't have the Rim DLC. So, wonder if they're working on that. Um, I do know there's a hint of them working on a quarter mile track, uh, basically. So yeah, look forward to that. I am looking forward to it. I have not heard of any more DLCs coming out or any of that. So your guess is as good as mine when it comes to stuff like that. And I am really, my frame rate's going a, lot, a little freaky here. don't know why. Oh, I forgot the fan. Look at that. Look at that. See? I always forget something. I always, always, always forget something. Um, fan. Jeez. Yep. See, there you go. Nope, I don't want to do any of that. Nope, I don't want to do any of that either. I want to do that. It's kind of jerky around a little bit. This is kind of freaking me out because I usually don't have issues with my game. I'm trying to get in here. There we go. Get these push rods in. I try to get in there so I can, there we go. So I can just click, 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 click and be good. You know, I like the, simpli the simplicity of this game because if you got into things like Wrench or My Summer Car, it gets a little more complicated and to be quite honest with you, I don't want a game to complicate things. I, I really don't. Don't complicate it for me. Just, you know, give me some easy stuff to do. And this is this is pretty good. I like this. This is just enough for me to want to tinker around with and have fun with. Yeah, my my frame rate here is a little freaky here. I don't know why. Go ahead and put the carb on. Yeah, might as well put everything else on it while I'm here. Alright, let's go to this side. This engine is just about done and we are going to get this puppy back on the road. Sirens and all to get out into the streets of New York City. Kind of concentrating on what I'm doing here instead of talking. It's kind of hard to do both. I am horrible at doing two things at once. So talking and putting this together has been um, a challenge for me. Even for this, for these videos. So All right, a few more spark plugs and wires and we are good to go.
And I like the red, the red accents in this engine, this because it will, um, it'll look really good in this car. I'm gonna take that engine off, put it in. We are good. Now you can go away. Um, I need transmission. And I'm going to need exhaust, which uh, a couple of these rear mufflers and a couple of middle mufflers. And I don't know what the, I think I want to go with the C's. Um, I think there are a couple of these. That's what I think they are, but we will find out here in a second. Yeah, I had to go back to these wheels, man. I'm, I'm, I'm liking the fact that those. I like those a lot better on there. Starter. We didn't put oil in this thing, did we? Oh, those are bees. Oh crap. Let me get back into here. Give a couple bees. I swore they were C's, jeez. Oh well. Live and learn. Alright, ooh, 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 I'm moving all over the place. Kind of jumping around here. Alright. So we are good to go underneath and on the inside. Let's start taking some of these pieces off. Fenders don't come off. Doors do come off. Uh, windows, windows. Uh, rear bumper, tail lights, okay. What else is on here? Oh, oh my goodness. So this needs this needs some stuff on the inside here too. So, uh, all right, let's let's do this up. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful thing. I take that door off though. Interior's clean. Okay, so we got some fenders, fender skirts, and let's see what we can let's see what we can repair here. Man, it, it seems like I could have repaired a whole lot of stuff here. Yes. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The headlights get uh, hooked up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm liking this. I got a lot of things repaired. Oh, and I did not have a door, so I couldn't deal with that. Um, taillights? Yeah, all right, so what do I need? I need all the glass. I need all the glass and... Oh man, this is gonna be... This is gonna be kind of weird. I gotta figure this one out. Um, hearse, right? H E A R S E. There we go. Uh, front bumper, definitely going to need. Glass, yes. Glass, yes. Glass, yes. Got a hood. Need the glass. Didn't have a mirror. Had that rear bumper. Um.
Rear clamshell, I think that's the one we needed. Got that rear door. Need that. Fenders. Need that. That. Need that. Need the back door. Need the glass. I think that is all I need. For the outside, anyway. So. Um, mirror. There's a mirror. This is such a cool looking car. I mean, I think Dead Bob did an outstanding job on this, to be honest with you. Looks really cool. Works well. Alright, so I think I've got, uh, I think I've got it all. What do I need on the inside? A bench and that seat and a steering wheel. So the bench has got that little Y. Let's see if we can figure out what bench goes in this. Um, it's a bench, 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 bench. I'm looking, I'm looking. Aha! Right here, the TBX bench. That is what goes in there. And we need the Jeep seat, I believe it is. Just one of the Jeep seats. Yeah, there we go. Um, steering wheel, what can we put in this? Um, I'm going to put in a nice speed looking steering wheel. I mean, hey, why not, right? Okay, so that seat goes in that seat goes in and we're gonna put in a nice nice steering wheel there and oh we need to put oil on this don't we um right done done All right, and we need some, we need California, or not California plates. What am I thinking? We need New York plates. So, where is New York at? New York plates. And I'm not sure what it had on here, but I thought I want to Ecto-1. I believe is both those plates. And that is what I'm going to put on here. Alright, are we 100% across the board? Yes, we are. Let's go. Let's uh, send this puppy um, to the paint shop. Alright. Delivery. There we go. Is that the only one on there? I believe, yeah. Paint it. Back to the garage, and there we have it. We have the Ecto-1 fully repaired, ready to hit the streets of New York. What do you think, guys? Oh my gosh, this, this thing's just so awesome looking. I mean, look at this. Even this, do not energize this equipment unless frame and all exposed metal parts are grounded. I mean, the detail in this is just, just absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. All right, so there you have it. Um, I'm going to send Wayne's World uh, Pacer into the parking area um, along with the Ecto-1 here. So, um, yeah. Isn't this awesome? Thanks, guys, for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Uh, throw me some comments down below. And, again, I thank you for everyone for watching. I thank everyone for watching. And uh, see you in the next video. Until now. Sir's Quasar, and I am out.